Hello, Paul Hamilton here from iPad Monthly. Today, we're going to look at our really little learners. We're going to jump straight into drawing pad, and I'll show you what um, our little ones have been doing, prep grade ones, and that is just creating really, really simple, um, I guess they're sound collages, or it might be uh, letter collages. So basically, whatever the letter they've been focusing on for that day or for that week, um, they come to me and, and with the teachers, we basically do a little bit of exploring um, around the room and look at things that actually start with the letter that we're actually looking at. So you can see here, we've been looking at the, at the burst sound. Um, and so what my students, my little students have done is they've got off their bottoms, they're walking around the lab, they're taking photos of books and boxes. Um, I even had a teddy bear. And sometimes I will plant uh, different objects that actually start with them. But they've also done some other things. They've actually, from drawing pad, they've actually brought in some objects, like a, a bike um, and a bus from the stamps. And down the bottom here, if I can just raise this one here, this is from Daily Monster that a student has created, because we've done Daily Monster before, has created a little monster with a balloon. So they're actually being creating, they're looking at things that start with a range of different things. And this student here, and this is a great activity, by the way, for differentiating, this student here has actually started to insert um, and actually type words, um, which is a fantastic thing uh, to allow students that are ready to do that to actually explore it. So how do we do it? Really, really easy. Let's start a new drawing pad. And let's say that we take the, the B word to start off with. You can see here that I can scroll down the side. I might start with some letterings and just put big B, little b. Now, you know, you can teach your kids to get rid of that little cross. Sometimes the little ones get a little bit frustrated that it suggests a different word. You could turn that off or you could actually get them in the habit of just hitting the cross, which is also a good thing. So I'll put the double B in the middle um, and you can do a range of different things. We can type, we can look for the stamps. What I try and do with my students, so if I've got a bus there, I can move a bus there and I might put a bike over here. Um, what I do like to do though is really kind of tell our, our students that you can have two or three of these, but I also want some photos from around the room. I'd also like a couple of words typed and really be um, set some guidelines, I, I think, as well. So I could go at the top there and go straight to my camera roll. Um, Leaf doesn't, uh, what's something that I've, I've taken a photo, I think, down here. Oh, there's just a picture of a book. So Charlotte's Web, I might put that there for book. Um, and our kids can also do some typing of words as well. So there's a range of different things. Uh, you might even get your students to do some actually writing. So if I actually select, say, um, go with uh, maybe a, possibly a texter, and you might write the word bib. And so students could actually practice um, and do some writing as well. And certainly if you've got stylus pens, that would be a great idea. But that's just a really great idea, I think. Um, I'll just go back to the other one that I've got in my albums here in Drawing Pad, just so you get a better insight. Um, we've had students doing this before, and, and it's just a really great up um, getting kids moving, taking photos, inserting photos, manipulating them, making them big and small. And as you come across more and more apps, you can actually still do this activity and incorporate some of those um, those products into drawing pad as well. And each week, it's just a really good kind of, um, I guess, warm-up activity where kids are, uh, are looking at a different focus each week and it just gets them uh, honed into thinking that I can make my device a little bit mobile here, I can get up, I can take photos, I can insert pictures and do some other things. So um, I call it like a letter sound collage, but you can call it what you wish. And I think it's a great activity for our really, really little learners who are learning their sounds and letters for the first time. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.